challenge awaits the fellows as they finally consider themselves ready enough to compete in the Aka competition in Tallahassee, Florida. Oh my, Tallahassee is a very nice place. I actually recall myself at an impressive Arby's facility a few years back. Oh, what did I get again? Oh, it will come to me. Oh yes, yes, yes. Anyway, as you can imagine, with Kenny's consistent zoning out, Eli's extreme pride in winning the fun ball tournament, in block sphere of heights and of the dark, the fellas find themselves struggling to navigate around the airport. Small. All right, guys, great job at the concert. We killed it. This trip is gonna be sick. Can't wait to check out all the new cool music museums. I heard they have a new jazz one. You know, Kenny, that new jazz one sounds sick. But I know Clay loves doing things alone with you, without us. So how about you guys go together? Bro, absolutely, dog. Like, I can totally set up like a studio down there, like Kanye West in Hawaii, it would vibes for days. It'd be like us two, part two. Let's go to the movies or the zoo. Hey! <laughs> Bro, and on the plane ride, I'll cook up some saucy and bossy raft. Yeah, dude, the plane ride. The uh, safe plane ride where there's no technical difficulties, and good thing I brought my nightlight. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm finally being able to finish my coloring book. Yeah. Just the cow and the fish to go. Yeah, you color that cow, boo boo. Now, where's Ben, Bricks, and Gabe? You didn't hear, man? They got caught singing in the bathroom. Word is they tried to escape, but they couldn't get anywhere because all the doors are locked in school now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Papa's hungry. Wait, Eli, which gate was it? Yo, I, I think it's gate 12D. I got like 12 people out in the first two rounds of the fun ball tournament. Did you guys see my throws? Baseball season's gonna be sick. Yo, Eli, I'm pretty sure you said gate 12C, bro. Pretty sure it's a 22Q. Alright, let's go. I don't want to miss the play. You're right. The fellows continued on their journey to the gate. Meanwhile, Grant and Spiro stopped at the snack shop where the trouble were trouble awaits. Alright, Spiro. I say we get some Lay's, some Fritos, some cornflakes, ooh, that cake, this sandwich, ooh, a Monopoly kit, a deck of cards. The flight is two hours long, Grant. Whoa. Look at that new Doritos flavor. Totally getting it. You know what? Never mind. We'll take off this, please. The board does not go so smoothly. Hi, Mr. Trapping, sir. I'm Ken Rubin, leader of the Acafellas. Hold on, I think I've misplaced my ticket. Here's my ticket, Mr. Trapping. Oh, he's so cute. How old is he? He's a uh, sophomore. Sophomore. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's adorable. Would you mind if I uh, took him to the plane to uh, see the cockpit? <laughs> that does you to be able to fly the plane. <laughs> Yay, the cockpit. <laughs> yeah, E. I don't know if I can do this, dude. Like. There's so many things that can go wrong on the plane. Like the engine can stop working, the flaps of the plane can stop working. I don't know, man. Well, yo, yo, relax. Think about it like fun ball. When the game starts and the ref blows the whistle, you're nervous, but from that point on, it's simply smooth sailing. 
You know, I played some of my best fun ball when I was nervous. I just, I don't see how that relates to anything we're doing, but... You carry the one. We gotta stop singing so much, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, guys. I think I left my ticket at home. Nice. See you later. And with that, all of the fellas besides Kenny boarded the plane. Although most of their seats were together, some did not find themselves so fortunate. Oh, hey, big man. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Yeah, boy. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. Hi. Um. So I don't mean really. Oh, uh, I remember. It was corned beef hash. Or maybe it was roast beef. Uh, I really don't mean to be a bother right now. But um. No, I was definitely roast beef. Never mind. It was definitely. I have a hundred percent. I'm pretty sure. Condition and this bladder condition. Um, yeah, and for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, onions. Uh, I got a small drink too. Are you, uh, are you seriously gonna do this to me? Maybe Dr. Pepper. Are you, are you doing this? I mean, I, I, no. I, I have a note. Do you no. want to see it? HC. Fine, it's fine. Okay. Okay. I'll get lost in the rap sauce. Maybe I got one of everything. Everything? Everything? Dilly dilly. continue to struggle with the seatmate, James and Glick find that they have never actually spent a lot of time together. They have a tough time figuring out what to converse over. Let me tell you, man. I really just don't see how that relates to carry the one, subtract two. There we go. Yep. There we go. Did you just hear that, bro? 
They said pass through your seatbelts. No. <laughs> and lastly, Jesse got his biggest wish and was able to run, ride in front of the cockpit. You know, little boy, one day you're going to be able to fly a plane like this as long as you work hard and stay in school. You really think so, Mr. Pilot? <laughs> Absolutely not. As the plane took off, the fellas soon realized that without Penny, they did not know a single thing about music and immediately took a flight back to New York. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the performance.